This section will acquaint you with preparations for starting up of the Salzer ZAV40S and the reduction gear. To start the auxiliary machinery, use the group start from the Selma supervision computer. Group starts for the main engines are divided into two groups: main engines one and four, and main engines two and three. The auxiliary machinery can also be started manually. The following pumps start for each group start: main engine lubricating oil pump, gearbox lubricating oil pump, Kamevar system oil pump. Seawater cooling pump, high temperature cooling water pump, low temperature cooling water pump, reduction gear engage oil pump. The following auxiliary machines and pumps are normally running continuously: fuel oil feed pump, fuel oil booster pump, nozzle cooling water pump, starting air compressor by pressure stat control. When a group start is selected. The preheating pumps stop automatically. When the pumps have started, always check for leakages. This part of the section will familiarize you with the normal startup of the Salzer ZAV40S and the reduction gear. Important values to check are cooling water pressure and temperature, lubricating oil pressure and temperature, fuel pressure and temperature. Starting air pressure, levels in the various engine tanks and auxiliary equipment, also turbocharger, governor, etc. The engine should not be started following a long period of being out of service until the following basic checks have been carried out. Check that the fuel control linkages move freely. Turn the hand crank on the cylinder lubricators about 30 times to charge the delivery pipes. Watch each flow indicator. And check that excessive force is not needed to turn the crank. Engage the slow turning gear. Open the indicator cocks in the cylinder heads and rotate the engine several times with starting air or the slow turning gear to make sure that the running gear is working satisfactorily and that no water, oil, or fuel has collected in cylinders. Close the indicator cocks. Disengage the slow turning gear and lock the operating lever. You can review and enlarge the images by clicking them. The engine should not be started until the following basic checks have been carried out. Press the emergency stop button. Engage the slow turning gear. Open the indicator cocks in the cylinder heads, and rotate the engine several times with starting air, or the slow turning gear, to make sure that the running gear is working satisfactorily, and that no water, oil, or fuel has collected in the cylinders. Close the indicator cocks. Disengage the slow turning gear, and lock the operating lever. Release the emergency stop button. This video will show you how to start the engine and engage the clutch. The following action must be carried out. Check that the maneuver is in remote position. If not, press the remote control so that the ready to start indication appears on the control panel. Press the start button. Disconnect the blockings and alarms for the engine 
while the engine is running. Run the engine at 420 RPM by adjusting the speed setting. Engage the engine and clutch by pressing the clutch closed button and make sure that the clutch oil pressure increases to 22 bars. Reduce speed setting to prevent over speed when the clutch is disengaged. Check that everything is okay and hand over control of the manoeuvre to the bridge.